Well, hi guys, uh, this is Easter week and uh, as Forex Baptist Church, uh, we've got a few different services that are going to be going on uh, throughout the week. And I just wanted to draw your attention to some of these just so you can pop them in your diary uh, and uh, pop yourself a reminder so that you can join us on either our Facebook or our YouTube page. So the first one is uh, that on Monday, Thursday, uh, we're going to be doing a communion service at 730 uh, this is going to be uh, just a chance for you to be able to uh, to join us. And I'm aware that communion is such a huge part of our uh, church ceremony side. And we don't want to neglect that just because of where we are and the time that we're currently living in. So what I want to encourage you to do is to grab a drink of something. Um, and uh, Jesus uses wine because he's in the middle of a meal and wine is present. Um, if it was in today's day and age and he was sitting around a table with a group of friends and people were drinking Pepsi Max, it probably would be something along those lines. So uh, I know that's maybe controversial uh, and please don't put any hate comments below for making statements like that. But uh, I just want to encourage you just to have a drink of something. And bread is in uh, the, diary, uh, the diet of pretty much everybody around the world in some way, shape or form. And so I just want to encourage you just to grab a bit of bread uh, and sit down with us. And if you've got the intolerances to that, grab something else instead, something you can actually physically break in your hands as you eat together. So that's going to be our communion service on Monday, Thursday evening. Uh, there'll be a short talk and weather permitting, we're going to try and film this outside uh, by my fire pit and actually do something a little bit special uh, with that. So that's our Thursday. Um, on our uh, Good Friday service, uh, we're going to be doing something at two o'clock. Um, and, uh, and again, we're just going to be looking reflectively at the term Good Friday in a life where life doesn't actually feel overly good at the moment. Um, and, uh, and so how do we talk about Good Friday? What makes the crucifixion probably the most brutal aspect of the Christian faith good? So I just want to encourage you just to join us uh, for that as we take a look at both Old Testament and New Testament uh, in regards to that. Then when we come to Easter Sunday, we're going to have a celebration. Uh, and I've asked as many of our church family to get involved in actually sending some videos in uh, to us to be able to just make this more of a, of a family celebration from across. Uh, and so that's going to be at 10.30, that usual time, uh, with a time of song worship uh, and some time there as well. And then finally, uh, our last thing, I'm just going to wait for the tractor to drive past us. Uh, our last thing is on the Sunday evening, we uh, want to have a time of uh, song worship. And so for those of you that joined us last time uh, in my lounge with the words behind us, we're going to do something again similar to that, uh, where we're going to be spending a bit of time just uh, reflecting and worshipping joyfully and, and reflectively uh, with contemporary worship songs that talk about the cross and what Jesus did and the victory that was won from that. So that's our Easter week. Uh, and so uh, I just want to uh, encourage you to, to take a part uh, in that if it is possible. So, uh, so yeah, so this is a uh, goodbye from uh, me, uh, Phil, and uh, from Sammy, who's here, and Ash, who's here, and Malachi, who will, you will constantly be seeing running through majority of our videos, no doubt. But uh, I hope you're having a good week, and uh, I just am looking forward to celebrating Easter with you in this time to come again. Thanks for joining us.